Welcome to the Douglas County Chamber of Commerce's Greystone Power Luncheon, sponsored by United Way. I'm Alan Smith with Extreme Images, your board chair of the Douglas County Chamber for 2012. Uh, I would like to now invite uh, Dr. Gordon Pritz up to say a few words uh, for United Way. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Happy one day after the Constitution anniversary day. It's good to see everybody. Y'all knew that, right? Yesterday was the 225th anniversary of our Constitution. As a school leader, I'm always supposed to teach you something when I speak, I guess, right? But I come to you today representing the United Way. As a member of the advisory board, it's my privilege to uh, thank you for being here today to uh, kick off the United Way campaign in our county. We are so blessed in our county to have so many who give uh, to the folks that are in need and uh, we are no uh, we are very thankful that in the school system we receive generous support from so many entities and of course one of the biggest uh, that we receive support from is United Way our children benefit from the United Way in so many ways and we are so grateful to that and consequently uh, we feel it's our duty in the school system to be a big t participant in the United Way campaign and we like to claim that we uh, lead that campaign each year and uh, as we should because we're the largest employer but today we want to kick off that campaign and uh, just bring to your attention the opportunity that you have in your uh, own various businesses uh, to participate in the united way campaign we hope that you will consider that we thank those uh, businesses and organizations that already are great contributors uh, and we want to continue that we uh, the united way had a goal um, of well over 300,000 last year and we hit 393,000 I think it was Melanie and uh, this year they set the goal at $399,714 I don't know why we just don't shoot for 400,000 even but uh, uh, we will certainly strive to reach that mark and uh, Tom Worthen told me that if there's that short of hitting the 400,000 mark he'll top it off and make sure that we get there <laughs> No, I'll do that, Tom. I'll take you off the hook on that. But uh, we do want to thank you today for uh, allowing the United Way to come and share um, with the information for you to consider uh, giving. Uh, it benefits so many uh, organizations, our Communities and Schools Program, Boys and Girls Club, Share House, uh, Senior Services, Meals on Wheels, Children's Voice, the CASA Program, and on and on. So we are very uh, uh, grateful for what the United Way does in our county. And we hope that you will give it uh, great consideration uh, as we start this campaign through now and to the end of the year. Uh, you'll find at your uh, table a card. And uh, just so you know what this card is for, uh, we're encouraging businesses who have never uh, run a campaign to get involved this year. Uh, if you fill out this card and take it to the United Way table in the back, where is that? Right outside, right outside the door. The door. Um, and turn that in, just simply agreeing to meet with the United Way representative, you'll receive a uh, free United Way t-shirt. So uh, there's some incentive for you right there. And that's not all. We want to uh, let you know that that new business that runs a campaign will be the guest of honor at a special VIP reception hosted later in the year by Gary Miller. Speaking of Gary, Gary is our uh, chair of the campaign for the third consecutive year, and Gary couldn't be here today. That's why I'm doing this. And uh, we want to thank Gary for his, uh, his work and his dedication in heading up the United Way campaign in our county. Uh, how about a big uh, hand for Gary in abstention? <laughs> and before I sit down, I'd be remiss if I didn't recognize all the uh, United Way uh, Douglas County advisory board members. If you would please stand if you're on the United Way advisory board so you can be recognized. We also have some United Way uh, cabinet members here today. We'd like all of them to stand if you're on the cabinet. Guess we thought we had them. John Sell. Thank you, John. And finally, those folks who uh, put the time in each day as part of the United Way, all the United Way staff, both here in Douglas County and downtown that happen to be with us today. If you could please stand so we can recognize you.
Thank you. Uh, we hope you'll consider that, and uh, we appreciate all that the United Way does for us, and we appreciate all that you do in supporting the United Way. Thank you so much. Thank you, Gordon. Before uh, we give thanks to this delicious lunch, I'd like to offer a special thank you to uh, our caterer, Jim and Nick's Barbecue. Uh, now I would like to ask Pastor John Pinson with Douglasville First United Methodist uh, Church to lead us in invocation and pledge. Thank you, Alex. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for this day and the opportunity that we've come to as a community to offer help and hope to the needs that we have here. We ask you now to bless this time of fellowship and this time of meeting. But more importantly, Lord, may we once again exceed the goal that is set before us. Now come, almighty God, and bless each one here in their homes and their businesses so that we can bring honor and glory to you. Amen. Amen. Let us stand for the pledge. <coughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. <laughs> At this time, it's, it's my pleasure to introduce uh, you to uh, Kevin uh, Griner with uh, Gas South. Uh, Kevin is the United Way campaign chair, and he is also the president and CEO of Gas, at Gas South. Under Kevin's leadership, Gas South has been the fastest growing natural gas marketer in Georgia since 2008 and now serves more than 260,000 residential and business customers. Mr. Griner has nearly 15 years of experience in the energy industry, including management roles at Southern Company Gas and Southern Company Energy Solutions. Mr. Griner holds a master's degree in business administration and a master's, science, uh, master's of science degree at the University of Michigan and a Bachelor of Arts degree from West Leyland uh, University. Uh, Mr. Griner is serving as the 2012 chairman, uh, campaign chairman of the United Way of Metropolitan Atlanta and is the 2012 chairman of the, the Cab Chamber of Commerce. He also serves as an officer of the Georgia Chamber of Commerce and serves on the Board of Credibility, a leading not-for-profit uh, provider of credit and financial counseling services. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Kevin Griner. All right, well, good afternoon, everyone. I appreciate the opportunity to come out today and speak with your chamber. Um, we have a, a great relationship at Gas South with folks here in Douglas County. Uh, we're proud to be partners with Greystone Power, have been for years in um, offering special rates to Greystone customers and waiving all connection fees for customers that sign up through Greystone. Really appreciate you all being here today. I've also been involved with the school system for a number of years, including being the gas supplier to the school system, so we appreciate your business as well. And um, I'm proud to be serving as this year's campaign chairman for the United Way of Greater Atlanta. We actually went through a name change recently that some of you all may have heard of. We used to be United Way of Metropolitan Atlanta. We've done the name change for a couple of reasons. Um, we wanted to really make sure that when we talk about the United Way here in our region, it really is about the greater Atlanta region. Sometimes people think of themselves as it being in a metropolitan area. Sometimes people feel like, well, I'm really in more of a suburban area. And I think that Douglas County might, you know, kind of be um, fairly ambivalent about that. And so we wanted to make sure that we were <clears throat> just uh, correctly describing what our scope of activity is geographically, which is really working in the entire greater Atlanta region to improve outcomes in the areas of income, health, homelessness and education. Those are our four focus areas at the United Way and I'm just very honored and delighted to be working as the campaign chair today. I do want to recognize as well Gary Miller. Thanks Dr. Pritz for doing that as well. Gary has been a uh, tireless volunteer for the United Way over several years uh, leading up the campaign effort. It's been a very successful campaign here. We'll talk a little bit about it but we couldn't have done it without Gary's efforts and others who are involved in the, in the uh, campaign, including Ed Cahill and, of course, your terrific advisory board, many of you all who are here today. Um, let me uh, review some statistics. Um, 
Dr. Pritz noted that um, nearly $400,000 was raised in Douglas County last year. We're hoping to hit that amount this year. I agree that we should, you know, get over the threshold. And I, you know, for that close, you, Gas South will write a check for the Douglas <laughs> County campaign because we got to get over 400,000. Now I said it for close. <laughs> for 350, you know, then we're gonna have to have a conversation. But, um, you know, the interesting thing is though that United Way invested six hundred thousand dollars in douglas county last year so raised 400 invested 600 how does that happen well the united way has access to funding from foundations from governmental grants from other sources that in essence allow your investment the money that you raise here in douglas county to be leveraged and ultimately to increase the overall investment and that return on investment is terrific. $400,000 being raised, $600,000 being invested back into the community, I think is a terrific outcome that we can all be very proud of. Um, the four focus areas that I mentioned that the United Way works in uh, are education, income, health, and homelessness. And if there's one thing that defines the United Way, it's about collaboration. That's really what we're all about as an organization. I've been proud to be working with the United Way and seeing that firsthand. So we bring together the businesses, the donors, uh, nonprofits, governments, volunteers in a um, way to strengthen our communities, to really make them better. And uh, we invest in the programs and agencies that do the most good, where we can see the biggest return on investment for the outcomes in those four focus areas that we talked about and getting the biggest bang for the buck. And we cultivate as well innovative ideas that create sustainable programs to move our communities forward and addressing some of those toughest social problems. So when you give to the United Way, you'll know that your investment is going to really good things. Things like um, early learning programs, keeping kids in schools, ensuring um, proper behaviors, as they grow up, as they become adolescents. Um, helping families become self-sufficient through job assistance. And you know, the United Way is, and, and its partner agencies, it's not about a handout, it's about a, help, a hand to help you up. And that's really what we're working on. We try to, and, and certainly have as our goal, to allow families to achieve self-sufficiency through the services that we are providing in times of need. Uh, we provide job assistance. We improve access to health care, ensuring that babies are born healthy. That's a big goal of the United Way. And we reduce the number of chronically homeless through counseling and transitional housing assistance. So Douglas County's had a strong tradition of supporting the United Way. You've also got a very strong set of organizations that run terrific workplace campaigns here. I'd like to mention a few of those. Um, you have the Douglas County School System which actually runs the largest campaign, and we thank you for your support. And the great thing about that is that it's a virtuous cycle of activity where the United Way is working with the school system to also make our community stronger, strengthen the school system itself. Um, we have, of course, the Douglas County government uh, that uh, runs a very strong campaign. Greystone Power has been a big supporter of the United Way for years. We thank you for your support. City of Douglasville, Metro Bank, also runs a nice campaign. Then you also have grocery stores like Publix and Kroger that raise an amazing amount of money through their associates, um, including folks that, you know, quite frankly, are not high wage earners. And those organizations do a great job of helping folks understand, hey, the United Way is important to us, it's important to Publix, this is what we're all about. And they have some 90% participation rate in most of their stores, which is truly amazing. And if they can do it that well, I think anybody who works for any company in Douglas County can say, well, gee, you know, we should be able to do this also in terms of running a campaign. Publix, for example, raises over $80,000 from the local stores right here in Douglas County. Big piece of that overall for a $400,000 campaign. And then you also have some of the region's most effective social service organizations, and they collaborate with the United Way on programs. And sometimes people ask, well, you know, what does the United Way do exactly? Well, we collaborate on a lot of programs that are delivered locally. Some of the organizations that we work with today uh, here in Douglas County include Communities and Schools, Share House, Douglas Senior uh, Services, and Children's Voice Casa that was mentioned earlier as well. Um, and the recipients also include regional organizations that have strong activity here, Boys and Girls Clubs, Salvation Army, 
organizations like that that have a regional footprint but deliver services right here locally in Douglas County and contribute to the fabric of um, the community here. And a lot of times those relationships with the organizations that the United Way works with are multifaceted. It might start with a call into 211. Are folks familiar with the 211 service of, of the United Way? This is a really neat service where it's a single one-stop shop where folks who are uh, in need of assistance can call when they don't know where to turn. It might be because they're struggling with their mortgage. It might be because they've had some um, difficulty in their personal relationships to the point where it's gotten dangerous for them individually. It might be because their kids aren't on the right track and they need to figure out a way to get them oriented back towards um, being productive in school and in society. And that service was pioneered here in Atlanta. Today it's offered in 46 states around the country, but we can be proud that our United Way right here in Greater Atlanta was the organization that pioneered that service. And what they do, if you ever go and listen to those calls, uh, it's amazing because you have a um, representative from the United Way that hears the person's issues, understands where they live, what type of um, help they need, and then connects them with the local agencies, the local programs that are most likely to be able to help that particular household. So it really creates an amazing service when you think about it in terms of efficiency, in terms of directing people to the right location, and of course, connecting those dots and collaborating with the agencies that can help those in the community. And that brings me to a, um, I wanted to tell a little personal story as well about the United Way and a, a story that really relates to our company, Gas South. And it was discussed, we're a natural gas supplier. We serve um, quite a few customers throughout our state, uh, thousands here in Douglas County. And back in 2008, uh, we decided to take on an issue as a company that had uh, frustrated us for, for quite a long time, actually. Uh, and it's serving credit challenge customers. So back in 2008, if we dial back to then, we were turning away about 50% of the people who were calling us asking for natural gas service, if you can believe that. Uh, and the reason that we were turning them away is because they didn't meet our credit requirements. And we, like other gas companies, we credit screen customers on the way in. And there were an amazing, a huge number of people that were trying to access natural gas service and really weren't finding it in our competitive market um, as the downturn and the financial hardships that, uh, you know, that, uh, that faced the population began to set in. And of course, that was problematic for our business. So after all, no company wants to turn away 50% of the customers who want to buy your product, right? I mean, most, most of you all would say, how do you stay in business with that? And that was something certainly that we had to look at. But we also realized that this represented a social problem. That in essence, we had a very large underserved population in our state who were not able to access a service as essential as natural gas utilities. And um, we knew that there had to be a different way. Um, and even if they could qualify for service, they then couldn't afford the big deposits that were gonna be required for them to actually get turned on uh, with their service. So we set out to figure out, well, what way can we address that business challenge? And one of the first visits that I had was with Milton Little, who is the president of our United Way here in Greater Atlanta. And I told Milton, you know, we wanna, de we wanna design a gas program that would help the very households that the United Way is working with. Uh, folks that have experienced financial hardship, many of whom are experiencing it for the first time, but are committed to getting themselves back on their feet and recovering from the hardships that they have experienced themselves. And we said, you know, those folks deserve a second chance and we wanna work with you on a program. And Milton turned around, he connected me with uh, United Way's 211 service because, you know, they're listening to those consumers day in and day out. They also connected me with many of the United Way's partner agencies that were working on um, these types of um, um, issues like the Salvation of Harmony, the Society of St. Vincent de Paul, and credibility uh, as well. And they provided some input with us, uh, to, to us, that really helped us design the program. So what did they say? Well, the first thing that they did for us, they confirmed that, yeah, natural gas access is a big problem in this market. 
We see consumers all the time that can't qualify for service or they can't pay, they can't afford to pay the deposits that would be required for them to be able to <coughs> obtain service. And usually that's because their credit histories or past defaults on natural gas bills. Um, they also told us, interestingly, that past due gas bills were becoming a real drain on agency resources because the bills would get so big by the time that the service got turned off that it was a pretty big um, assistance to be able to make to that customer. Sometimes as much as $1,000, they'd be behind on their bills. And you can imagine how quickly that drains agency funds where you're providing emergency assistance and you're having to write a check for $1,000 to get somebody reconnected. Big problem for the agencies themselves. And so we set out on, uh, to work on crafting a solution. We developed a program at Gas South called our Pay As You Go program. <coughs> and what we do is we estimate charges every month for a customer based on their historical gas usage at that particular location. And we send the bill before they've used all the gas. And um, uh, for Gas South, that's allowed us to control our bad debt and serve more credit challenged customers, expand access to the competitive market for folks that were previously shut out of that market. For customers, it meant more reasonable rates than they'd been able to obtain previously, more choice, and the ability to establish service without having to pay a big deposit, which often represented money that they simply did not have. So this gave them a chance to pull together the funds that they would have, they would need to be able to pay that first bill, but give them a 30-day period within which to do that. And also, because those customers were being billed in advance, it also created the benefit where consumers could never fall that far behind in their bills. And that meant that when, when and if service did happen to get shut off, the hurdle to get it reconnected was a lot lower because the amount that was past due now was no longer $1,000. It might be more like $300. And that was a huge benefit as well. Um, also for consumers, we decided it was important with this program that after 12 months of good payment history on pay-as-you-go, they should be eligible to go to any of our other rate plans. And we built that into our program, which has been a really positive aspect of it. In essence, is allowing consumers to rebuild their credit with us um, and, uh, and uh, um, have more selection and even lower rates under our other programs. And then, of course, for the agencies like the United Way, and like the partner agencies, the program like this, a program like this means that they can help more consumers to um, manage their natural gas situation. It might be by recommending a company like ours to somebody who's struggling with gas, or it may be to more efficiently use their funds to get service reconnected because now the past due amounts are no longer as large. So a lot of benefits to really go around throughout. So we've had over 65,000 households in Georgia that have now enrolled in the Pay-As-You-Go program. And one of the things that we're most proud of is that 9,000 of those folks are now receiving service under those other rate plans. They paid us well and therefore have graduated to the other rate plans that we offer uh, more widely. And also by reporting positive credit uh, payment behavior to agencies, which I think is very important as well, something that's sometimes underappreciated, but by reporting every time that somebody pays well and not just reporting situations where they don't pay well. What that allows consumers to do is to rebuild their credit over time simply by paying their gas bill, paying their utility bill on time. So you hear a lot about public-private partnerships and we like to think of pay-as-you-go as really more of a for-profit, not-for-profit partnership. Because at the end of the day, who we were partnering with were the not-for-profit agencies like the United Way that helped us to really understand the community need and design a program that was gonna meet um, those, uh, those requirements. And we think it's a great example as well, the type of collaboration that the United Way does throughout our community. Um, working with the private sector and with nonprofit agencies, connecting the dots to make our community stronger, and doing its work in a quiet yet powerful fashion. I think that's something that uh, the United Way does exceptionally well. And I can honestly say that without the United Way's involvement in our program, there is no way that we would have been able to have been successful as we have been in helping more consumers. So I very much appreciate that. It's one of the reasons that I'm so high on the United Way 
and its overall mission. Um, so how can you get involved in the United Way campaign? First of all, if your organization runs a campaign, please give generously. You've got a lot of great organizations here. Uh, I hope that, uh, and obviously they're all running state-of-the-art, top-notch campaigns. Please give generously. Know that your money is going towards good things, towards good works, towards things that are going to improve our overall community. Utilize tools like your payroll deduction, which is absolutely critical. It makes it easy for you to donate and invest in our community. Second, if your organization doesn't run a campaign, work with your companies to get a campaign rolling. We're a relatively new company. We were founded in 2006. I think we ran our first campaign in 2007. When the idea was first brought to me, I said, oh, it's got to be real complicated, you know, payroll deductions, I don't know, you know, how much is it going to cost? It's not expensive at all. In fact, for us, it was built into our payroll system. We could do it automatically. Really, it's, it's much easier than you think if you run an organization of any size, large, small, or mid-sized company. And then third, if you're self-employed or you work for a small company, you can make a one-time donation through the United Way's website. And all the money, again, raised locally is invested locally. And we're always looking for people also, of course, to volunteer their time. There are lots of opportunities to be found on the United Way website that you can engage directly in your communities. So thank you for the opportunity to be with you all today. Uh, thank you for your support of the United Way. Um, for those of you who are Gas South customers, thank you for your business. Appreciate that also. And uh, thanks for everything you all do as business and civic leaders in your communities. And uh, I'd be happy to take any questions if we have a few, a few extra minutes. But thank you. Thank you, Kevin, for taking time out of your busy schedule to be here with us today. Thank you, Alan. And thanks for all you do for United Way. <clears throat> Thank you. Right. Thank you, Kevin. And uh, thanks again to the city of Douglasville uh, for the use of the downtown Douglasville Conference Center. Uh, thank you to United Way for sponsoring today's event, uh, to Jim and Nix for the great food, and to Greystone Power for their annual sponsorship. Thanks for each of you for attending today. Uh, we hope to see you Thursday at the Chamber Golf Classic at Merrill Lake. If you'd like to play, uh, see the chamber and uh, have a safe and prosperous day and uh, don't forget to stop by the United Way table on the way out. Thanks and have a great day.